Yo, 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 what is up, guys? This is Norm from Daily Fantasy Archive. You guys are new to the channel? Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the videos and want to see great daily free content that will help you make money. Also, uh, hit the bell notification button so you're notified every time we upload daily and you never miss a video. And also, smash that like button if you enjoy the videos. Let's get right into today's slate. I'll break down the slate for you guys. Share the lineup I had last night. Um, if you guys would like to join the line, uh, l join the paid members group, shoot me a DM at DFS underscore archive on Twitter. Uh, each night you'll get my lineup. It costs $7.50 for a full month, so that's only $0.25 cents for this full month. 30 days in a month, so $0.25. Cents. Here's the lineup that I uh, had last night. Last second was a very great line, 152 cashed in all formats. Very great lineup. Anyway, let's get right into today's slate. Uh, on today's slate, we have some uh, very great plays. You're going to look at this and say Chris Sale's the, the best pitcher on the slate by far, but there's some guys in great positions here, pitcher and other positions. I'm going to give you four guys per position and uh, that are studied extensively and in great matchups and have or have good BVP against the pitcher, have a very good chance of hitting value or doing much more than that tonight. So uh, you don't have to look through 100 players in each position. You'll just break it down and know that these guys are in great spots. Anyways, let's go right into it. Looking at the pitchers, uh, you're definitely going to be one of looking at Chris Sale. I mean, that's a no-brainer. He's going to be the highest home pitcher on the slate. Has the highest upside. He is the best pitcher on the whole entire slate. Uh, Jordan Montgomery is going to be a very uh, nice pitcher. He's in a very great spot. Uh, Verlander is in a great spot. And uh, also take a look at... Matt, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Matt, uh, he's pitched for Kansas in a very great spot. Uh, I know Mike Trout, you guys know that. Uh, they killed uh, Pindado last night, who was chalked 50% owned, but I can't see him doing much of that tonight. They're not a very good team. Let's go right into the catcher position. Uh, Alex Avila is in a great spot, batting second in that two hole. Uh, Han Hannigan, where is he? Hannigan. It's a very great spot if he's confirmed 100% in the lineup. Batting at home in Coors Field. Uh, Travis Darnold is in a great spot. If he plays, he's not in the starting lineup, actually. Um, that'll be interesting to see who's uh, going. It'll probably Renee, I would assume. Renee is uh, starting, yes. So he will be also in a great spot. Uh, Gary Sanchez, this guy's been completely killing the ball. Uh, you guys definitely want to take a look at him if you want to pay up. If you're paying down for your pitcher, you never, you probably won't be able to fit him in with Chris Sale. He's very, he's very expensive, but he has some crazy upside. Pretty much home runs every night. Uh, moving on to first base, uh, Ramirez is not in the starting lineup. Wow. Uh, Miguel uh, Cabrera is in a great spot. Over Pro Holes is in a, a great spot also. He's very cheap. If you're, if you're paying for Chris Sale, you're going to need to pay down somewhere. This is a great spot to pay down for him. And uh, Matt Carpenter has been crushing the ball lately, guys. He's in another great spot. He's still too cheap for his upside that he can't have and how well he's been playing. Moving on right into second base. Uh, we're going to be looking at Dustin Pedroia. He's in a great spot, 3.4K. Batting in that two hole right behind Mookie Betts in a very good spot for him. Uh, DJ uh, Matthew is in an amazing spot again tonight going up against Matt Cain. He's an awful pitcher, guys. They are the highest run total on the slate projected so far. This is going to be a good spot for him. Uh, Castro is in a great spot. And you guys also want to take a look at Ian Kensler, who is in a great spot batting leadoff. As long as this game goes ahead, it should go ahead, but stay uh, updated on the weather on Twitter. And... Um, Moving on to the first guy I'm going to be talking about, explain it a bit more for you guys, is uh, Nolan Arenado. Uh, he's in the highest run total, projected on the slate. He has been on far all season, batting against lefties is a good spot for him. He gets the platoon advantage going up against uh, Matt Cain, who's an awful pitcher. He kills him BVP-wise. Uh, he's batting a 409 average and a 531 Woba and a 439 ISO, and he hits a home run every nine at-bats to lefties. It's an amazing spot for him. I could definitely see him crushing the ball tonight. And uh, having a great night tonight. <clears throat> he will be very good for your tournament plays and your cash games also. Uh, Jed Jorko is in a great spot. Uh, Nunez is in a great spot. As long as he cracks the starting line of 100%, he's in a good spot. Uh, Florals, Wilmer is in a great spot tonight. Wilmer Florals. Uh, very cheap if you're looking to pay down at third base. If you're paying for Chris Taylor, you're going to need to do that, like I said. Uh, moving on to shortstop. Some other guys in great positions tonight. 
is uh, Trey Turner. Uh, Bogarts is going to be very high owned again tonight. All Boston players have been high owned lately. Crazy. High run totals on the slate. Ideas. Is in a great spot. Uh, had him in the lineup last night. He had a home run. Uh, had a crazy game last night. And also Trevor Story, like I said, this uh, Colorado game is going to be very juicy uh, for getting fantasy points tonight. Moving on to the outfield, another guy I'm going to be talking about for you guys to lock in and all your lines is going to be Andrew Benatendi. He's only 3.2K. He's in the highest run total projected on the slate. Uh, one of the third highest run total projected on the slate. On the slate excuse me. And he uh, seems to have turned the corner on his awful start to the season. He has been on fire last week or more now, and it's a great spot for him as he gets the platoon advantage in a match in this great matchup. And he's batting behind Mitch Moreland, who has also been on fire, who has been getting on base. The gods of heaven have been killing and getting on base lately, so there's a lot of RBI upside for him, and even some home run upside. He's just way too cheap for the upside that he can have, only at 3.2 gay. He's been crazy high on in 80s, 70s, and 60s last few nights. You're pretty much just going to have to lock this guy in where you can get him in your lineups. He's going to be very high on. Uh, Malik Smith, batting leadoff, is in a great spot. If you're looking to take Chris Sale, this guy's going to be crazy high on again tonight. He's been crazy high on every day he's played. Uh, since cracking back into the lineup, batting leadoff, he has been killing it. Uh, Georgie, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name, is in a great spot again tonight. Amazing spot. And Mookie Betts, this guy had 50 points last night. Amazing points, too. Amazing game last night. Two home runs. He will definitely be high on again tonight, and he's definitely in a good matchup tonight. Has uh, some amazing numbers to go up against his pitcher. He's been a bit of hit or miss lately. He had a zero here, but, I mean, it seems he's been on fire lately, and Boston's a high run total. Anyways, that'll be the player breakdown for tonight, guys. If you guys would like to join the paid members group, it's only $7.50 for this month. It is uh, DFS underscore underscore. DFS underscore archive, shoot me a DM if you want to get star started. Uh, don't be that guy missing out on all this good money you could be making. And uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And good luck tonight, guys.